Okay, we're back to talk about our, our vector of objects and, and our sort of Scrabble words with friends sort of tile game. Um, we're going to look at, at, at just the tile class right now. Um, recall that, that we're going to have a game manager, a set of a tile set, a tile rack, and then the tile set is going to contain tiles and the tile rack is going to contain tiles. Uh, right now, we're just going to look at the specific tile class, right? And recall it has a letter, a value, and then it can basically print itself. So we'll go into the code and, and sort of build this class, kind of understanding uh, what we're going to do with it in, in the future. So our code right now, right, we're still here. We have our tile header, right, and our tile... Uh, CPP file or source code. So the data we're going to have is um, we're going to have a character called uh, the letter and we're going to have an int called the value. Right, and letter is going to contain the letter and the value is going to contain the value. I'm not really thinking about the, the blanks right now. Um, since these are private, we're going to put in setters and getters uh, first. So we're going to have set letter, which is going to get a character. Uh, we're going to have a set value, which is going to get an int. And um, rather than, than putting the code down here in the CPP file, um, these are going to be really, really, really short functions, right? They're just going to be one line. So I'm going to put them in line. Um, the, the sort of the rule of thumb that I use for in line is that it's got to easily fit going across the screen. And yeah, that easily fits going across the screen, even with my uh, large fonts here. No, no, I just like to call it data all the time. That way it saves on my cutting and pasting. Um, so these are the mutators and the accessors. That's not how you spell accessors. Right, and they return values. Letter, no parameters, and um, again, sh short little piddly function. Going to put it in line. Um. Let's just see if it compiles. Uh, yeah, so I don't have any syntax errors. I mean, I don't know if it works or not, but I certainly don't have any syntax errors in it. Let's uh, space it out so it looks kind of nice. Um, now, we, we kind of want to test some of these things. Um, and let's put in our print, which I'm just going to use for debugging right now. Uh, it's a void called print. Uh, I'm not going to write this inline because we would put formatting and other stuff in it. Um, and yeah, it'd be a squeeze to fit it on the screen in one shot. So I'm going to go stick this in the CPP file. It's called print. Uh, it's a void. It's a member of the tile class. Uh, it's called print. Um, I spell void right, don't I? And what are we going to do? We're going to do C out um, for debugging. Let's just say we'll print out, we'll put a space, and then we'll put the letter, and then we'll put uh, some sort of parentheses. I guess we'll put uh, I don't know, square brackets, and then the value. And then we'll close off our square brackets and uh, we'll end it there. I'm not going to put an end L in here because I may want to put it in the middle of a line or something like that, but I will make sure that there's a space 
before and after it. Um, so that it doesn't mix with other ones. I don't know if that's a good decision right now or not. We could always change it later on, I suppose. Um, does it compile? All right, let's test that. Uh, no, it doesn't compile, right? C out was not declared in this scope. Why not? Well, because <laughs> it wasn't declared. We don't have the includes that go with it. All right, so we need to include IO stream. And then I can either put std colon colon there or like we've been doing all semester, we'll just put, if we hit caps lock off, we'll just stick in the using namespace standard up at the top. So yeah, you have to, each of these CPP files compile separately. So 